Well, let's get more on this now with the cryptocurrency analyst Daniele Bianchi in London. He's an associate professor of finance at Queen Mary University. Good to have you back with us, Daniele. So a positive start of the week for the crypto market. We've got Ether hitting a new record high and Bitcoin inching towards the high that it reached just last month. Tell us more about what's behind the rally that we're seeing right now. Thanks for having me. Well, there is a variety of reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, we had the first ETF approved uh, a few weeks ago. Um, we have more and more institutional investors that are coming in also publicly. I mean, big hedge fund managers now are openly talking about investing in Bitcoin. And there is the increasing sense of uh, you know higher high inflation coming. That's one of the main drivers of, of um of Bitcoin. For Ethereum, it's a little bit different, is is really driven by the explosive growth of the decentralized finance system. So it's a little bit of a different dynamic. Yes, can I ask you more about that, the decentralized finance system, otherwise known as DeFi? We're hearing this term used more and more right now in relation to the crypto market. Can you tell us more about what that is exactly? Well, it's a combination of uh, peer-to-peer -peer lending and borrowing. So uh, borrowing and lending platforms, decentralized exchanges, uh, data providers. So it's it's a combination of a few things. Under the umbrella of DeFi, it's it's a very heterogeneous uh, universe. Uh, to some extent, it's really try to replace financial intermediaries, so to speak. And let's talk about Bitcoin, the world's biggest, biggest cryptocurrency, as we know. So it's currently sitting at around $66,300. Where do you think it'll go from here? What will it hit uh, before the year ends, do you think? It's very hard to predict. Uh, uh, the predictions are going from, you know, minus 20% to 100K by the end of the year. Um, uh, it, it's very, very difficult to predict, but the trajectory is definitely upward. And there is no reason to believe that it, it, can, it cannot really reach 100K by the end of the year. Wow, fascinating. Okay, Daniele Bianchi, thanks as always for your analysis.